I don't need to have on the 13th. I don't need, as I said before, and this has been a long uh, thing, but anyways, as I said before, on a C 13th, I do not need the 5th, and I do not need the root because my bass player is playing. Okay? But I'm going to use all of it because I'm comfortable with this inversion. This is an inversion. This is an inversion. Excuse me. <laughs> I haven't done that one lately. This is an inversion that I don't have a tendency to do. I usually don't do that because it's kind of crumpy together. But I usually do these two. But uh, just for that I needed to practice it, I'll go ahead and practice it. Okay, I usually do this C7 right here. These are the two favorite ones I like. Just the way it is, okay? Everybody's different. But if I do this right here, I have the C there. I don't need it there, but I don't have a bass player here. I got a 13th here. It doesn't have how many octaves up I go. Okay? Now, if I want to go to a C sharp 13, you never probably see it in a book ever. All that is is a doubling up of the flat 7. So you won't see a flat. You'll see a flat 13, which is nothing but a flat 6 in its tension, but you will not see, I've never seen it yet, where you have a dominant, which implies that you have the flat 7, which is always a whole tone down from the root. Okay? But this right here, that is a sharp 13, but I've never seen it. Okay? This is a 13. A. It's kind of discordant. Okay? And the next one up, next one down, excuse me, semitone down, is a flat 13. Now that's a cool sound. What about if I wanted to do here, uh, what about if I wanted to, I'm going to leave out the G. Okay? Uh, that's a fifth. Okay, what about if I want to do something with a, uh, uh, I could do a, um, to do uh, this right here we call that a flat 13th but generally speaking that's usually called a sharp five okay flat seven six